What's up you guys? Today we're going to talk about the seven cartridges that I think really we deserve a special look when we're hunting under 300 yards. This comes from many comments that I've received on the channel over the last few weeks uh, that I kind of focus a lot on the kind of new cartridges with the best ballistics and stuff. I just, I, I really get into that stuff. I think it's cool. But sometimes I don't pay homage enough to these really great cartridges that maybe aren't the flattest shooting, maybe don't buck the wind as much, but are still really cool cartridges. We're sorted from the most recoil to the least recoil. So those in gray are the ones we're gonna look at. Let's talk about these right here. One at a time. So first is the 350 Legend. A lot of you may not be familiar with the 350 Legend. This cartridge was invented just in 2019 by Winchester. And really the whole purpose of this cartridge is for shooting in certain states where they have restrictions on using bottlenecked cartridges. You know, this is the bottleneck where we have the shoulder here that allows a, a larger sh uh, capacity of powder and then it's necked down to the bullet. This obviously has a straight wall here. And the reason there are some laws like in Michigan, Iowa, maybe even in Illinois, I can't remember, is that they just aren't going to shoot incredibly far. So in regions where there are population centers, they want people using this kind of thing. And so it's a, it's a good idea. It's something where normally you'd only be able to hunt with the shotgun, but now we can use some rifles. If I worked in the Winchester factory, how could you resist not opening a box of these and just taking out one bullet and slipping in one of those mini golf pencils in the cartridge. I just think it'd be so funny. Doesn't that look exactly like one of those little mini golf pencils? Anyway, 350 Legend is shooting a big old wide 357 caliber bullet at reasonable speeds, you know, only 2200 feet per second, but it's producing plenty of recoil for hunting deer up to 100 yards. But you'll see even at 300 yards, we're just okay. We're kind of marginal for hunting deer-sized game. As cool as I, I think the 350 Legend is, on the con side, it's just not very versatile. I saw one of these, a rifle chamber, chambered in 350 Legend, on the shelf at Sportsman's Warehouse in Idaho. Uh, and it sat on the shelf for like a year. Then <laughs> nobody touched, touched that rifle. Because why, right? If you don't have the restriction, if you want a rifle that's going to do more than just being able to hunt in that tree stand, why would you pick it, right? And so I think 350 Legend is really cool, but it is very purpose built. And I might say the same of the next cartridge, that is the 3030 Winchester. Now, as unique as the 350 Legend is because of its straight wall, the 30 the 3030 is interesting because it has a rim on the bottom. See how it's wider on the bottom than a typical cartridge that does not have a rim on it. And this was to help in the design of the firearm and the way that it, that it was fed, especially in older designs of the 3030. And this was invented in 1895 and it's still I mean on every gun shelf ever, but by today's standards, of course, it's not the ballistic, you know, prodigy. It's not going to shoot incredibly, incredibly flat, but it is just a, a very uh, versatile cartridge for that up close, up to 300 yard kind of shooting. The next three I want to talk about as triplets. That's the 308, the 7mm08, and the 243 Winchester. The reason I want to talk about these in, in not tandem, I guess in trio, is because they all are using the exact same case. Started with the 308 and then the 7mm08 and the 243 are using that exact same 308 case. You can see they're just neck down to different calibers and slightly different trim lengths on, the, on this brass. But these are exactly, if we think of them as being the same cartridge, just in different calibers, it really helps us to understand what these three cartridges do. You know, the 308 is 
has the heaviest bullets for sure. It's going to have the largest frontal diameter. And so when you shoot something, it's going to absolutely do the most damage when we're talking about 300 yards and in. But also we're gonna look at that recoil velocity and we see that the 308 compared to the 7mm08 compared to the 2043, you'll see it also has the most recoil but it's also shooting the slowest. That 308 is shooting slower than the others at 300 yards. And so it really is, do you just want the slightly slower but heavier thing and heavier recoiling? Or do you wanna go with something that's flatter shooting, that's faster, that's lighter recoiling in the 243? It's just a really easy way to understand these three cartridges. We don't really care looking at the bullet drop of these three cartridges going out to a thousand yards, you know, at whatever we say at 500 yards, we say, ah, oh, the 243 is much more flat shooting. But when we're talking about in 300 yards, th that's probably within the maximum point blank range of these cartridges, or at least close to it, depending on our loading. It it's just not going to matter much, the ballistics. So I love the 7M M08. I think it's just such a versatile cartridge. It just hits a sweet spot ballistically, you know, shooting out to 500 yards. It's just a really nice sweet spot. But if we're only shooting 300 yards and we can take the recoil, you know, an adult shooter, we don't really care so much about the recoil because these are all mild. Why wouldn't you pick the 308 in this situation? It's kind of how I feel. The next, I wanna talk about that 243, this time the 6.5 Creedmoor and the 25-06. We're gonna talk about them again in trio because these, I wanna say, are our best options for deer-sized game out to 300 yards with very, very low recoil. The 243 is an excellent choice. I mean, it will absolutely kill deer, no problem, out to 300 yards and beyond it. My son Cole's been hunting with 243 for a couple years now, and so I've seen quite a few animals die at the hand of the 243. And what I would say is it's absolutely gonna do the job, but it will take just an extra second, uh, you know, an extra two or three seconds for the animal to die with a 243 compared to a 25-06 or the 6.5 Creedmoor. It's absolutely capable. It's just not going to cause that, you know, electric, immediate, uh, incredible impact on the animal. It's gonna do its job, but it's gonna do it light and fast and without the fireworks. So 243 is a great choice, especially youth shooters. Pick a 243 if they're worried about recoil at all. You don't wanna push them too much. But even an adult, great, great choice for deer. 6.5 Creedmoor and 25-06. Ballistically, the 25-06 is gonna best it in a lot of different ways because it's shooting nearly 3,000 feet per second with a lighter bullet. But you can see the design of this. It's just an older kind of shooting times westerner type of uh, design, what we often see from those cartridges. Um, the 25-06 is a long, skinny column of, of powder that maybe we might say isn't going to ignite quite as um, uniformly. And so now we're kind of moving to these shorter, faster, shorter, fatter cartridges. Um, between these two, I would generally pick the 6.5 Creedmoor because it's just so much more widely available. But that's not to take anything away from the 25-06 that is just a speed demon. Um, the, the biggest problem though with the 25-06 is bullet availability. You know, it's shooting that 257 caliber bullet. That's just, there aren't many cartridges in, 20, uh, in 257 caliber. So you have a very limited supply of factory and handload bullets for it. So I just wanted to highlight some of these cool overlooked cartridges because all of these are awesome for their own specific pur purposes when we're talking about short range up to 300 yard hunting. I know not everybody gets the long range hunting. I'm not really interested at all in shooting game at 900 yards. I can't do that ethically and accurately and I'm just not interested in that. But I love a hunting rifle that is very versatile, that I can take out to the range and really just enjoy the ballistics and how cool the cartridge is. I love that stuff 
and, I'll take, and also taking it uh, hunting. And so for me, usually if I know I'm gonna be taking shots in 300 yards, I just like those kind of cool, new, flatter shooting cartridges. But sometimes uh, there are specific purposes or just for nostalgia. I just love some of these other cartridges as well. Hey, thanks everybody for your support of Backfire. We, we've gained, I think, over 8,000 subscribers just in the last 28 days. Uh, I just, it's really exciting for me to make these videos knowing you guys uh, are showing such support. So thanks everybody. We'll see you in the next video.